Hello and welcome. I am Jay Hartone and this is episode 37 of Let's Play Wasteland 2 Live. In the last episode we uh, did a lot of shopping and got some new quests from Ranger Citadel and are setting out. Uh, we have Ralphie with us again. And he's got a big weapon. Otherwise, we are pretty good to go. So let's go. Enter Wasteland and pick direction to go to. Uh, so we need to go to Darwin Village. And. But it's way over there. I think we will make our way to the prison now. And. Uh, Charlie One to Citadel Base. Damn good to hear your voice, Charlie One. What's your status? No one dead, amazingly enough. Meth heads couldn't shoot for shit. But I got three wounded, one critical. Heading for Red Leg, gonna see their dock. 10 4, Charlie One. Call it location and stay safe. Roger, Citadel Base. Charlie One out. Okay, so Team Charlie made it out okay. Uh, that's good news. Uh, let's start heading towards the prison. Maybe stopping at Accenter on the way. Uh, we might be able to see something uh, to do with the rail marks now that we have brokered peace deal and they are working on the rail again. Or at least we should tell Accenter about it if they haven't heard about it already from a ranger citadel. Let's test our new weapons against these animals. They might be just gila monitors, which are still pretty dangerous, but now we have better armor and a lot better weapons. So let's take a look at this map. Ah, oh, so it's this map again. Okay. We can just move up here and take pot spot at the monitors from up here. So we'll take our heavy gunner, have him positioned on the edge, and well, and a sniper up here, and you with her M16, Ressa, and oh, these guys have two armor. So again, these guys are completely powerless against us. Uh, okay, let's see what we can do with just one shot of M16. Higher AP cost, but it also almost uh, takes out these guys. Yeah, excellent. And just one shot, this guy should be dead. Yep. And with another shot, this guy. There we go. Granny, uh, you can come up here. Maybe help out with your BBA uh, one. And a couple of sniper shots here. Excellent. And uh, well, Johnny, you can shotgun this guy. There we go. And your turn. Well, we can try heavy weapons on this guy. Oh, holy shit. Pretty nice, pretty nice. It's a lot of ammo, but I have to test it out. Oh, let's pull back here and turn. Uh, Pretty easy combat for us. Uh, let's pick everyone, reload, and stop moving down here. The exit is somewhere over here. Oh. 
I like how these uh, same maps repeat, but you enter uh, from different sides each time. I'm sure if that's always connected with your uh, outdoorsman skill, but hey. Uh, actually, go to the east field, I think. Because uh, we found a fertilizer spray out. And no, it's the wrong place actually. I meant to go to the other one. Charlie 1 to Citadel Base. Go ahead, Charlie 1. You make Red Leg? Roger, Citadel Base. But, uh, Doyle didn't make it. He bled out. Oh, damn. Ten. Ten four, Charlie One. Bring him home. I'll let his people know. Copy, Citadel Base. On our way. Ah, uh, Ranger was killed in the line of duty. Hmm. How sad. But it's an occupational hazard. So we need to make our way to the. Uh, because I think you can give that fertilizer to the melon guy. And if we can't, well, it's a waste of time, but still. Check out a lot of quick here. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What we can do with this uh, quest because Robert is in the jail. I'm gonna authorize to enter it. Now we have armor on most of our people now. So let's, let's go over here. How are your melons doing? With a fertilizer sprayer come in handy, we found one in the late moments area. Uh, sure, here you go. Uh, get some melons. Five honeydew melons. Hmm, interesting. Applies honeydew melon effect. Uh, hmm. <laughs> we'll test that out in some combat. Let the soup have anything else for us. Nope. We cleaned up this mess. Right. Uh, well. At least we got some melons. So let's head to the exit. It's a bit uh, boring to revisit accent because the area is pretty big and there are a lot of area transitions as well. So I'm sorry about that. Uh, but uh, what do attributes actually benefit some weapon skills? Interesting. Uh, let's see. Let's go talk to the drunk guy over here. He has some booze. And I don't want our rangers to have it. So we might just give it away. And you might be interested in knowing that we have restored the 
for trade route. Well, we have some more, but okay. what about Kathy and Matt? Do they have anything interesting to say? No. See you around, Rangers. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh, he's got some mods. Are these squares? Like 20. No. Right, well. Have some booze. We won't need it. There we go. Goodbye. Send it to Skinner or give it to him if you want to. Rampy seems pretty nice. Just complimenting people's melons and hopes that Matt gets well. Because he seems like a nice guy. Well. It's time to head for exit, but first let's stop off our camp deeds. Back to the world map and onwards towards the prison. We do have two radiation suits, so we should be okay here. I think it's this way. And once we return from the prison, I believe that. Uh, where do we go this way? Uh, Raiders. Well, time for attack. What do we have? Rail thieves. They're pretty hardy. So, we'll position ourselves a bit further away from them. And start off with a sniper shot. Damn it. is much of a threat right now. So hmm. a couple shots here. Nice, nice. Uh, we need some cover and a bit of waste of bullet, but they're fine. No. Sniper shots. Take some cover and start firing on the melee. Yeah. We'll try to flank this guy if we can. With that two AP crowbar, no, not possible. Okay, take up some cover behind this barrel. Then we do have some armor, so yeah. and a lot of HP. Oh, that hurt. Okay, uh, let the rose shoot this guy in the back. Nice, another one. Yes. And Ralph. Can't really move that far, actually. 
well. Just move up a bit. And, uh, hmm, can we flank him from this position? Well, he's going next to this end forward, so. Uh, he's got one arm. Shot is the best option here, but I think we will go right up to his face and force him to move. Yeah. Yeah. Now he goes back here. Now he did get a shot off. And he ran. But now we can finish the water here. But uh, maybe. Straight on cover. Damn it. Uh. We just advance on this position and do what we can. Uh, no cover behind here. Mm -hmm. Thirty points. Okay, this should be okay. One left. Is he even bleeding? I don't think so. Damn it. Okay. Oh, I'm playing pretty bad here. Yeah, we're getting clobbered. Uh but then you can advance. Take a oh, see the PP81 in action. Oh, pretty good, pretty good. And well, well, if you can punch the other guy. Oh no, you can't. Damn, you're slow. Why? Oh, you have the backpack on you. Damn it. Uh, and another tree that you would have. The umbrella, of course, but. Ah, uh, never mind. Uh, this thing sticks AP to shoot. It's a bit unsafe, and only one. Hey, this is a good shot. Heavy weapons fire. Right? Well, he mangled that guy. Took his arms and head off. Uh, he missed from that range. Really? Well. Fully loaded. Uh, and loot. Some over here, some over here, but this guy didn't have any. Uh, oh. Maybe that is useful. And what else? Uh, 38 revolver. Nice. Reloads. Oh. And. Maybe that would be a safe. Any. And he has leveled up so we call it e. Copy Echo One. Echo One, I believe of congratulations, Echo One. You've done well. Thank you, sir. Out. Has five skill points. Oh, yeah. I am thinking. Outdoors, probably. Yes. This means even better uh, avoidance chance, even better positioning in random encounters, and maybe something useful. On the world map. I think I'll just give the umbrella to Ralphie because uh, we don't need the extra carry capacity and the one combat movement penalty is actually pretty huge as we saw. He couldn't move for very long seas, so 
He needs some mobility uh, with his fist weapon and his heavy weapon. Okay. Radiation. Oh, there's something here. The cruiser. We have found the cruiser. There's a bit of radiation here, but... Well, we made it safely. So, here we go. We are entering the cruiser. I might take at level 20 up. Uh, uh, that way he can carry all his ammo. Just the ammo he's carrying at the moment that's weighing him down a lot. But he's already weighed down, but he's not carrying much of anything. But the energy weapon ammo is really, really heavy. So, we're at the prison. This pre recorded message is brought to you by. RSM Enterprises, Inc. The Arizona Waste is a harsh and unforgiving place. With Desert Ranger patrols few and far between these days, it's no surprise many families are wondering where they can find safety and security. Well, look no further. Happy Valley is the answer to your prayers. Formerly the Arizona State Maximum Security Prison, but now an attractive community managed by the folks at RSM Enterprises, Inc. You won't believe how safe nestled within the sheltering borders of Happy Valley. With 24-hour canine security patrols and our circle of wagons street plan, you'll never need to worry about being alone or unprotected again. Now, here's our commander Danforth, founder of RSM Enterprises, with a personal welcome to all potential Happy Valley homesteaders. Hey, hey folks, don't let those damn rangers tell you otherwise. Happy Valley is the safest place in the waste. So get your lock quick before they're gone. You you shouldn't say damn. It's a sales pitch. Aw, oh, hell. Sorry. It's fine. It's fine. Next time. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. We're <laughs> not entering the prison. We are entering Happy Valley. Oh. Uh, sorry about that. Uh well, seems interesting. But I will take a break here actually and I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Bye bye.